There are currently two bills that have hit the state legislature in California that would require total gun registration in the state. One, which I'm going to try to talk about in another video if the toddler allows, is more direct and literally spells out plans for a registry. But the other bill is a lot more insidious and would instead use insurance requirements to create a backdoor registry with information on every gun owner in the state. Stick around for the details. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I really don't mean to sound that down in the intro, but it's just another case of California being California and they California so hard. Bills to require gun owners to carry special liability insurance have largely failed, though gun control advocates and their political cronies keep trying. So now lawmakers in California are starting to get a little more creative, let's call it. But before I get into it, this video today is brought to you by Blackout Coffee Company. They are a family owned roaster based in sunny Florida that supports veterans, the second amendment and this channel. They have a great selection of coffees, teas and hot chocolates, have packages for soldiers overseas and even have special partner roasts that donate to some of your favorite gun rights groups directly. And bonus, every purchase made through my link also helps the channel. So check them out at blackoutcoffee.com com slash Liberty doll. All right, folks, last week, California assembly member, Mike Gibson, Gibson, I'm going to say Gibson. That tells you how much I care about this guy that I'm not even going to look up how to pronounce his name correctly. Probably not the best journalism, but there is an unhappy toddler downstairs and we are doing what we can here. Anyways, he introduced a bill not to force gun owners to carry liability insurance, but to change requirements for insurance companies. Devious. The Residential Property Insurance Firearms Bill 3067 would change section 2086 of the insurance code to require both homeowners and renters insurance companies to ask gun owners how many firearms they own, how and where they're stored, and then report that information to the government. The bill is short to the point and absolutely chilling. 2086, A, in addition to existing regulations, an application for homeowners or renters insurance shall include questions regarding all of the following. One, whether there are firearms kept in the household, including in any accessory structures, and if so, how many? Two, whether the firearm, if any, is stored in a locked container in the home, including any accessory structures while not in use. And three, the number of firearms kept in a vehicle located on the property subject to the applicable insurance policy. And if any, whether they are stored securely in a locked container while not in use. B, an insurer shall update the contents of their applications for homeowners or renters insurance to include the questions regarding the presence, storage, and number of firearms by January 1st, 2026. C, an insurer shall annually report the information gathered from the questions regarding the presence, storage, and number of firearms to the Department of Insurance and Legislature beginning on January 1st, 2027. The report shall not contain any identifying information contained in a consumer's application for homeowners or renters insurance, including but not limited to names, addresses, and telephone numbers, which shall remain confidential. <clears throat> Number one, every time California has any information on gun owners that they claim will be confidential, they somehow fail to keep it confidential. They give it to universities, researchers, and even accidentally publish it on state websites. And number two, uh, if there's no identifying information, why do they need it? Number three, registries are illegal. And number four, I'm sure the state will just pass it anyway. Other states that created registries for so-called assault weapons haven't seen very good compliance numbers, but when it goes through your renters and homeowners insurance, it could have very different results. I wouldn't put it past them to add some amendment where your policy is canceled if someone were to find out you're lying on your insurance application. They don't say what the penalties are for this, but um, I'm sure they will be equally creative. An argument could be made for insurance companies asking, 
After all, guns are property. That property could be insured, and that property is easier to steal if not secured. It's a stretch, but like I said, an argument could be made. But there's absolutely no logical reason for the state to have that information beyond some seriously nefarious purposes. Plus, California already has what amounts to registration requirements, so why do they need this information? The state offers no explanation, and neither does the bill. The only thing we know for sure is that if passed, insurance in California is sure to skyrocket. All because California wants information that is none of their business. All right, folks, a Liberty Toddler is getting riled up downstairs. She is not a fan of these California stories, so the outro is going to be quick. You guys know the drill for all of the algorithm things. As always, thank you for tuning in, even with a screaming toddler in the background, and happy shooting.